Hey gang, welcome to another edition of Doc Schlock Top 10s, where I'm doing a very unusual countdown. It's the Top 10 Worst Vehicle Horror Movies. Now, these are horror movies that involve vehicles as part of the main plot, whether they were possessed, whether they were built that way, or whether they had the spirit of Satan possess them in some sort of weird way or another. These were all pretty bad. So let's check out the top 10 worst vehicle horror movies. And at number 10, we have The Car. It's kind of a cheesy classic. Uh, nobody could figure out what was driving it or if it was driving itself. But pretty bad cheesy movie. Number 9 goes to Killdozer. <laughs> Yeah, I had to throw this one in there because a meteorite hits, hits a bulldozer and starts going around trying to kill construction workers. Number eight goes to Black Cadillac. Not bad of a movie, but not great either. Um, this one didn't involve a possessed car, but it did involve a car killing people, so yeah. Number seven goes to Trucks. What was originally supposed to be Maximum Overdrive turned into Trucks. Some call it a sequel, call it the, some call it the real Maximum Overdrive. Number six goes to Wheels of Terror, a USA original movie that should have been number one, but no. Number five goes to Creep Van. Something about this van that it's kind of like Christine, but about a hundred times worse. Number four goes to Transmorphers, Call of Man, Fall of Man, sorry. Uh, this one's in here because it did invo involve some vehicles killing people and it was kind of stupid and it's from the asylum, so what do you expect? Number three goes to Phantom Racer, a movie that some people have called Ghost Rider meets the Wraith, but not half as good. Number two goes to I Bought a Vampire Motorcycle. Yikes. If it's advertised like that in the newspaper, why would you buy it? But my number one pick for the worst vehicle horror movie, and you probably could argue with me on this one, but it goes to Rubber. <laughs> it went on a vehicle. That's all I can say. So there you guys have it. My personal picks, the top ten worst vehicle horror movies. Uh, next Wednesday, last day you guys can send in your picks for the worst horror movie remakes. And then in October, if we're all still here after this week, as you all know, we're supposed to be a big asteroid meteor shower to destroy the Earth. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, next Wednesday, the 30th, is going to be your last day you can send them in. And then in October, the first Tuesday of October, I'll do a top 10 worst horror movie picks from you guys. Now, these are horror movie remakes, sorry, horror movie remakes of movies you thought sucked, whether they were from uh, years ago, remade, and you thought they was just god-awful, um, or if they were uh, horror movies that was done in a foreign land and you thought it sucked, a lot of movies like that out there. Um, if it was remade and put in the theaters, went straight to DVD or video, uh, put on TV in, in any way, shape, or form, and you thought it was just the most god-awful thing you've seen in a long, long time, try and get it in here by next Wednesday. And everybody who participates, I will give you guys shout-outs and lots and lots of credit for participating in this little top ten worst horror movie remakes countdown. Oh. oh my goodness. And uh, if you guys have a top 10 you'd like for me to do just for you, send me your top 10 picks. Of course, number 10 to number 1. And uh, your idea of a top 10, these are your personal picks. Uh, just send anything you want to. Uh, I've had several people in the past send in uh, their own personal picks, their own top 10, uh, anything of horror. Uh, it was a lot of fun to do. And I uh, always love to hear from you guys and let me know what you guys think. So anything you got in that sort of category, uh, send it on in, and uh, hopefully, uh, we'll, hopefully I'll be able to get one done for you guys. And uh, the more creative you can do, that'd be great. You know, uh, I've done uh, worst Stephen King movies, worst Uva Bowl, worst the worst dinosaur movie uh, movies countdown was actually suggested to me. Um, 
so yeah, so anything you guys got, if, if it's anything bad, horror, again, number 10, number 1, message it to me, don't send me, don't send it to me in the comments, send it to me in a message, and then I'll get one together for you guys, uh, ASAP, and again, uh, next month, Schlocktoberfest 2015 happens all over again, and I got some really, really bad ones to review, so I hope you guys will tune in for that as well. I think that's going to pretty much do it for this edition of Doc Schlock Top 10s, because apparently there are a bunch of cars all lined up trying to intimidate me to step outside, because I guess they particularly did not like the... Maybe they take off. I'm guessing they particularly did not like a lot of my picks for this top ten. I mean, come on, rubber. Like I said, it, it, it came off of a vehicle. It should count in some ways. And if you have not yet seen rubber, consider yourself lucky. In fact, I've known some people who like who actually like that movie. And I don't get why. It was just insanely horrible. Um, uh, some other... Uh, vehicle horror movies I thought were actually good of course Christine probably the, probably one of the best Maximum Overdrive another one of the best uh, definitely my all time favorite horror movie would not appear in this countdown because I because a lot of people think it's, it's insanely bad I think it's a great cult classic movie and uh, Stephen King was on cocaine when he made that movie alright enough of my rambling I'm going to get on out of here hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, let me know in the comments below if you think I missed out on any so, until next time, as always, stay strong and rock on. In fact, I think I recognize one of those cars in there. I think, uh, yeah, that one, that one right there, you, you can see it. You can obviously see it. It's the one with the tail lights. Yeah. I think I used to drive around in that one, ride around in that one. Good thing I got out of that compactor before, you know, before it crushed it into a cube. <laughs> That was one crazy Christmas with my dad.